Uh, we just, uh, me and Robert Cooper did it my first freshman year and then did it last year, so I figured we might get it going again. It's one of those things like you wake up in the morning in camp and you, same routine every day. You got to get a laugh somewhere when you look in the mirror. So a little pick me up. Anybody else following your lead on it? Uh, Clint's trying to do one. Uh, I think Brandon's going to shave his beard and Dave Cooper and everyone who's got facial hair. I think he's going to just cut it off into a mustache. So. You said Clint is trying to do one. You say that. <laughs> you not be yeah, Clint's uh, still, still working on the mustache. This is just real blonde and looks kind of French, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think yours is progressing? Uh, it's getting there. I mean, I think it's better than last year's. But, you know, only time will tell. What do you think about Nelson Kirkland and those guys doing this whole thing here? Um. <laughs> Hey, it, it, I guess it's positive, you know, <laughs> in a way. So if it's positive, I'm with it, and it's lost. So I, we're very home. You know, this team is, uh, is, is a home team. I'm, I'm pretty sure you've been out there to watch this practice and the way we get out there. But the deal is, you know, this year we kind of, you know, Coach Hills used, used to do we, we know what great football like. So the deal is, I would say we're more hungry this year than last year because we know what it looks like. We are the defending national champions, and everybody is saying that we can't do it. So the deal is, I always say, when you get a group of talented young guys, and you tell them that they can't do nothing right, and when they're working hard and when they're practicing hard and when they try to buy into what we do right and all, I'm going to take that. That is a lot of it. So, you know, the deal is, <clears throat> we came out last year and a lot of people got of us. And that's not, and we found out last year, it was you know, one thing I learned from last year. I'm pretty sure the majority of the team, the whole team learned was what people say don't matter. You know, it's all about what you do. Uh, I think we've done pretty well. You know, Coach really uh, gave us a challenge at the beginning, uh, told us he wants, he, you know, he wants us to be physical. And he thought that this group of offensive linemen, you know, he believed it with all his heart, and said that he that this group of linemen could be even better than last year's, you know, and, and you know that really set the bar high. And uh, I think we we've, we've really tried every day to try and live up to that. It, it definitely does, you know, and, and you know some guys some guys need that motivation. They need the, they need somebody pushing them. They need somebody to make them uh, better like that. You know, also, you know, it's really this program has has put has been through a lot. And they, you know, we've really been put through the rounds, and I, I really believe that this program can turn out uh, a championship team, whether we have experience or not. Our coaches are, are that good. I mean, one of my favorite things about football is just being able to go out there and just hit somebody and not get in trouble for it. So. Uh, it's actually pretty funny because during practice, you know, they, they don't really talk to each other at all. They're trying to beat each other out, and then... I just got done eating, sitting in between the two of them and eating lunch, and it's just like their best friend again. So uh, it's, it's interesting. Both of them want it really bad, and uh, they both would probably do just about anything to get the job. Uh, but it's just cool to see that it's not ruining their friendship off the field, but on the field, it's uh, just like any competitor should be, you know, kind of cutthroat mentality. But uh, they're both throwing the ball really well, they're both taking care of the ball really well. So I think it's just going to be a couple more scrimmages until we can really. The coaches at least can really kind of detail it up and see who's the best guy for the job. Uh, you know, just from an emotional standpoint, I can't even imagine going through what he did. And for him to even be here right now is just, uh, just, just a feat for him. And, uh, like I said, that that's just something I can't imagine going through. But from a football standpoint, he, he's been out there flying around, uh, catching the ball and making plays. Him and uh, Trevon Reed at that kind of wide receiver, reverse kind of a reverse position. And, yeah, I mean, he's just impressed everyone. He, 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 you've never really seen him get down on himself, which is which is good for everything that he's gone through. So uh, he, we're, we need him to play this year. We need him to make plays, and that's what he's been doing. What you see right now is camp. Because when you see me on game, you're going to be like, wow, he's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>